Pizza is really about the crust, isn't it? Especially pan pizza. So how would you like to make the most amazing pan pizza and the easiest? No rolling, no kneading, no work, and you get this beautiful golden crispy crust. All you have to do is start your dough the night before. And here's how easy that is. It takes about two minutes. You're gonna start with one and a half cups of bread flour into a bowl, and you need a good sized bowl because this is going to expand. So there's one and a half cups of bread flour, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of yeast, and this is the yeast that I'm using. I'm using a regular active dry yeast. I think I get a better result than using the instant yeast. So just regular active dry yeast, only a quarter teaspoon is all you need. You stir that up just a little, just to incorporate. Now you add three quarters of a cup of cold water, and that's all it takes to make the dough. So you stir this up and make sure that your bowl is big enough for this to expand. Don't use too small of a bowl. So you just stir it until it becomes, until there's no flour left, basically. It doesn't take very long. And this is how it's going to be. It's not going to be that thicker dough that you're used to kneading. It's going to be kind of a, a, a softer, wetter dough. And that's it. That's it. That's all the work. So now what you do, cover it with a plastic wrap, tightly with a plastic wrap. You let this sit on the countertop, not in a warm spot, on the countertop, 12 to 18 hours, and now you can go to bed because your dough is done. Okay, I started this one last night. It's been about 18 hours, and this is how it's going to look after uh, 12 to 18 hours, all right? Now, you can see it's a very soft, kind of moist dough, lots of little bubbles on the top, and you can see how soft it is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle a little bit of flour and not, you know, maybe like a couple of teaspoons or a tablespoon of flour on it, just so you can kind of make it into, but look at, look how soft this is. And that's exactly what it's supposed to look like. This is not that kind of stiff dough that you need. This is a very soft dough and it's almost, see, that's it. There's the work right there. Maybe just a touch more flour just to, uh, to make it a little bit more solid so we can spread it. But look, that's it right there. It just took not even a tablespoon of flour, and now we're ready to put it into the pan. So we're going to use a cast iron pan. This is a standard 11-inch uh, cast iron pan. We're going to grease it. The greasing is important because this is what's going to give that crispy crust. So I'm using a tablespoon of olive oil to grease the pan. You need at least that much. Some people use even more. And I spread it around with my fingers, and I'll show you why in a second. So spread it around the pan and also up the sides because this pizza is going to go up the sides. All right, now we're gonna put the, the dough into the pan. Just take it like that and kind of, it just kind of fall in there like that. This is perfect. Now with greased fingers, we're gonna just spread it out just a little bit. And I grease my fingers like this. Look, just, just touch the oil on the side of the pan. That'll grease your fingers. You just kind of stretch it out, like uh, push it out a little bit like that. You don't have to go all the way to the edges because it's gonna spread as it sits. So a little bit of grease so you don't stick because it's a very sticky dough and that's it right there we're going to leave it at that and now we're going to cover it and you can cover it with a plate like a dinner plate i actually have a lid that fits on here so you cover it with the lid and now this sits on the countertop for at least an hour maybe two two is even better but an hour is okay and during that hour you can get your toppings ready and preheat your oven and we'll be good to go Okay, it's time to get your toppings ready, and I'm putting everything on this pizza. I'm putting on pepperoni, healthy things like yellow and red peppers, red onions, mushrooms. But here's the thing, the way to ruin a good pizza crust is to put too much moisture on it. So I'm going to eliminate some of the moisture from the vegetables, especially from the mushrooms, because they hold a lot of water. So don't, don't even wash the mushrooms, just clean them with paper towels. So here's how easy it is, and I highly recommend doing this. You're gonna love the crust when you don't put on too much moisture. So you take a big dinner plate, and you put two layers, a double layer of paper towels on there, and you put all the toppings. This is not a very big pizza, so all the toppings will actually fit just on this one plate. So we're gonna put the peppers on here and the mushrooms and try to lay things as flat as you can. Mushrooms on here, and then the onions, which also have quite a bit of moisture. Try to separate things. We're gonna do the pepperoni separately. I'll show you why in a minute. So. That's it. Everything's kind of laid out flat. Now we're gonna cover this with another uh, double uh, set of paper towels like that. Put a plate on that. 
and we're going to microwave this for one minute and after a minute you're going to see how much moisture comes out of these. That's all the work it takes. So microwave for one minute. Okay, it's been one minute in the microwave and I want you to look at this. You can already see the moisture on this towel and even after this is done you can still take another towel and still blot, especially those mushrooms. Just blot and get as much of the moisture out as possible and we'll let that sit and absorb a little bit more into the uh, paper, but that's going to make a big, big difference. Now, we're going to do the same thing with pepperoni, but for a different reason. We're going to try to get some of the uh, extra fat out of the pepperoni. So, uh, it's only 30 seconds in the microwave, but here's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to do a little experiment. This is regular, regular pepperoni you buy in the store. So we're going to put these three here. This is the standard pepperoni. This is the one that I use, which is reduced fat turkey pepperoni. So we'll put those on here, do the double layer of paper towels, put the plate on. We're going to microwave this for 30 seconds, and I'm going to show you how much grease you don't have to have when you do this. It's going to wind up in the paper. I'll be right back. Okay, here comes the pepperoni after 30 seconds, and I want you to look at this. This was the high fat pepperoni, the regular one. This is the turkey. Look at the difference. Okay, big difference. That's why. I don't use this pepperoni, I use the reduced fat. So this pepperoni, here's what I do with this one, gone. We're going to use the reduced fat pepperoni. So everything is defatted, de-moisturized, and now we're going to build that pizza. will be right back. Okay, it's time to make the most amazing pan pizza you've ever had, and the easiest. So here's the dough after it's been sitting. Now, you, I told you it was going to spread out. Look how it's spread out. It's actually been sitting about two and a half hours, and it can sit longer or less. It's still going to be good. So now there's nothing else to do. The, the dough is all done. There's nothing else to do to it. So we're going to start the toppings. A third of a cup of sauce. It doesn't take a lot of sauce because it's not that big of a pizza. All right, here we go. All right, now we're going to add four ounces of uh, cheese. This is part skim mozzarella cheese. Uh, it has lo less fat and it makes a great pizza. This is the one I always use for pizza. So you just spread that cheese around. Now if you're tempted to use packaged pre-shredded cheese, you won't get the same result because they add some kind of fillers or something and it just doesn't melt like the real thing. Okay. There's about four ounces of my cheese, and now the toppings. And you know, these mushrooms, I still might just take a paper towel and just blot them one more time because they're, they have so much more moisture than anything else, okay? So let's start with uh, pepperonis. These are my reduced fat turkey pepperonis. And then we try to uh, put the colored peppers on to where there's colors, you know, one of each color in at least every slice, okay? And, you know, you can do other toppings if you like. Uh, I personally don't eat sausage, so uh, I just don't, don't think there's any way to make it healthy. So, but these all, the yellow peppers, red peppers are loaded with antioxidants. So this makes this pretty healthy. And mushrooms especially, very, very healthy. So there go the mushrooms. And now, because it's a um, cast iron pan, uh, it does take a long time for it to heat, so what we're going to do to make sure that the bottom browns really nicely, we're going to cook it on the stove top for uh, three minutes on medium high, okay? So medium high and pretty much exactly three minutes works every time. So after three minutes, it goes in the oven and it's all done. Okay, it's almost ready to go in the oven, just a few seconds left. In the meantime, the oven's been preheated to as high as it'll go. Mine goes to about 550, and it takes a while, so it takes about 45 minutes, even to an hour, to get your oven really, really hot. So make it as hot as you can get it, up to the highest setting, and preheat it for at least 45 minutes. And there's my timer. It's been three minutes, that's all you need. And now, it goes into that very, very hot oven. Oh, that's hot. It goes in there for 15 minutes. I would start checking it about 12 minutes because it's really, really hot. And then we got pan pizza ready to go. 15 minutes, but check it at 12. Okay, the pizza's ready. It really helps to have a pair of oven gloves because that pan gets really, really hot. So let me show you what it looks like. Ah, 
Look at this, how beautiful is that? Oh my God, I love it, I love it. No grease, because we degrease the pepperoni. Now all you have to do is just kind of make sure that the pan separates from the edges, which this one is doing. Put it on your serving plate. Okay, yeah, there. And, let me move this out of the way. Look at this, oh my God. All right, just, I'm gonna cut this crust, just listen to this crust, ready? Okay, I just wanted you to hear that because that's how you get that awesome crispy crust. If you don't think this is like the most amazing, delicious pan pizza you've ever had, maybe we should take it outside. Because I'm telling you, whoever you serve this to, it's gonna do the pizza dance. Homemade pan pizza, yay!